Hello, hello, hello everybody. This is Renault, and today I'm going to do a simple review of uh, some Panda Express, which is gourmet, 100% authentic Chinese food. Uh, today, I wanted to let you all know that I appreciate you checking in. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe. Now, let me go into what this little number is. So, uh, what I got here is the chow mein. But I like to get half chow mein, half veggie. Ever since they introduced their veggies, I try to get some of that. Just have make sure I have some greens in my diet. But not too many, because I don't want to become a rabbit. And so it's half chow mein, half power, their power greens. And then I get their... Uh, Today I have their sweet fire chicken breast. And that's what that is. It's kind of sweet. A little bit spicy. Not quite as spicy as I would like for something to be sweet and spicy. But whenever you have sweet and spicy, uh, the spice is never very spicy. So that's just the way it is. And then I have another little entree called Beijing beef. Now Beijing beef is a little bit crunchy. It's like fried beef. It's pretty flavorful. And that's what I got here. Normally I get something else, but I figured I don't want to get my favorite dishes right away since I'm starting this little series. But there you go. That's what I got. Oh, and to drink, just some water. All right. Oh, yeah. And also candlelight. No, literally candlelight. Ocean blue mist. Uh, I have to say this ocean blue mist is not as... Uh, fragrant i guess you could say as the um that uh pine that i got before i really like the pine oh and a uh, five hour energy anyway i'll be back thank you so much for checking in hello 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 everyone welcome back and this is a dinner by a candlelight uh today i had a panda express with the half chow mein and half power veggies and then I got two entrees to go with it. For my first entree, I got the sweet fire uh, chicken breast. And then for my other entree, I got Beijing beef. Now, the chow, half chow mein, half veggies, will take these side events first, then go on to the main course after. The chow mein was uh, flavorful, as it usually is. Uh... And uh, I enjoyed that, all right. The power veggies, uh, I can't say I enjoy the power veggies, but they're a little bit of a healthier option. Uh, if I really wanted to go healthy, obviously I would have um, not gone to Panda Express at all, but every little bit helps. And so, uh, again, um, I enjoyed them for what they were, but, you know, they're veggies, and I'm a carnivore. So that made this very uh, tough for me. Going on to the uh, sweet fire bar uh, sweet fire chicken breasts, uh, it was actually a little bit of a better serving than I usually get. Um, the sweetness was uh, not overpowering, and the fire was actually not spicy enough, which usually happens with these kinds of sweet fire entries, but. This was still a little bit of a disappointing side. Uh, I like the sweet was sweet, but the spicy wasn't quite spicy enough. But just the quality of the meat itself was actually pretty good. Which usually isn't something that factors in that all that often. But I don't know if they uh, got a good order or what, but the meat was good. And then the uh, monk Beijing beef. The Beijing beef was alright. One of the problems with the... Uh, Panda Express is that some people believe that the veggies they put in there is a little bit of a, a filler. And that's a kind of true, actually. Uh, the veggies are a little bit of a filler. When I want Beijing beef, I want Beijing beef. The peppers don't really add anything, and neither do the onions. Speaking of flavors that don't add anything, uh, going back to the Sweet Fire Chicken, one of the things I forgot to take into account is that they put slices of pineapple inside. And so uh, the slices of pineapple uh, really ramped up the sweetness a bit, which made uh, it, it out of balance as far as I'm concerned. And so the sweet fire chicken was a little too sweet, like I mentioned before. But those slices of 
pineapple that they put inside. That really uh, made things over the top. Overall, uh, I would say this... Actually, one last thing before I give my final review or final verdict. The Beijing beef was actually spicier than the sweet fire um, chicken breast. So that was kind of surprising and disappointing on the part of the sweet fire chicken. Overall, I would give it a 7.2 out of 10. It was okay, but usually I like their chicken, but the quality of the chicken, but the flavor of this, this particular dish was not quite up to snuff. So 7.2 out of 10, a little bit of a disappointing, but not by any means bad or even mediocre. And that has been my review of Panda Express Sweet Fire Chicken and Beijing Beef. Where you can get, uh, you can get authentic Chinese cuisine. I like to say that unironically. Uh, I met one person from Indonesia, and when I said that, she kind of lost her mind a little bit because Panda Express is definitely not authentic. It's not even Chinese. Is it Chinese American? It's like Chinese American. American. It's more American than Chinese, but whatever. They've been in business for, what, 30 years? So good on them. Uh, anyway, that's all. I'm rambling now. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.